We are introducing the next generation DSLR, the Game Changer, and the best of the EOS series. Differences in the Mark II and the Mark I, we have uh, several. Um, first and foremost, obviously, the sensor has improved from 18 megapixels to 20 megapixels. We also have increased the ISO ceiling limit, therefore, you get in much lower noise uh, at the same ISO uh, compared to the uh, Mark I. The exterior wise, the grip has been reprofiled uh, specifically for Asian hands, so now uh, people are able to hold it more comfortably, especially Asians. Um, previously, shutters were made with springs and levers, and these days it's all motorized, so we can actually, um, you know, um, accurately move the shut mirror uh, accurately, and there is no shutter slap like previous models. Of course, uh, with the addition of uh, 4K video, which is uh, a must, I would say, in uh, today's journalism standards, um, we are happy to offer um, 4K frame grab as well. So basically what you can do is, when you record a 4K video, you can actually uh, pause it at any time, grab a frame of it, it becomes a very nice 8.8 .8 megapixel still. We also have an improved, a vastly improved uh, EOS ITRAF. So the intelligence has been um, bumped up uh, since the last iteration in the 1DX uh, Mach 1. And now with the higher, um, higher pixel RGB plus infrared uh, metering, uh, you can actually focus or track or lock on to faces um, because it has face detection, it recognizes skin tones. Okay, so it is able to track and lock on to those or subjects, your subjects, even from a very far distance. We have a big difference in terms of the um, EOS ITR AF. This is essentially the EOS ITR AF cases in which um, the camera is programmed. You are the programmer, the uh, controller behind all these programs. You can um, increase the tracking sensitivity, you can increase the speed of the AF point tracking, and this has been improved in the Mark II. Previously, we have uh, several um, AF uh, modes, but in the Mark II, we have included a large zone AF mode, um, basically used by a lot of uh, sports photographers, whereby you can uh, only focus within this uh, area, AF area. Con which consists of double cross-type AF points and cross-type AF points as well. With the uh, 1DX Mark II, uh, compared to the 1DX, you now have a touchscreen, very cool. And as you can see, it actually tracks subjects very accurately, thanks to the dual pixel CMOS AF. Okay, so as you can see, it can track um, the subject accurately. And can you walk again? So basically all you have to do is just touch and it tracks the subject. Talking about the high um, sh continuous shutter speed of the 1DX Mark II, we have uh, 16 FPS okay, via live view and 14 FPS with the uh, viewfinder. Okay, the reason is uh, the live view uh, continuous shooting actually has like a mirror lockup mode, something similar to that. Therefore, uh, you do not get uh, auto focusing and auto exposure. So, um, with this, let me just demonstrate the viewfinder. So that's the sound of uh, 14 FPS continuous shutter. And as you can see, you know, it's very hard to miss a shot if your shutter is moving that fast. Um, this is actually helped by the ITRAF, which I mentioned earlier. So basically, it's extremely hard to get a blur shot of your subject when you have a smart, intelligent autofocusing system and an extremely fast camera. So, also a new addition to the 1DX Mark II is the addition of a CFast card slot. Um, this new um, card format is not actually new to Canon. We are using this in our Pro Professional Video Solutions. Okay, um, as you can see, the transfer speeds are equivalent to SSDs. Um, it has a new connector. Total will be about 515 megabit second. Um, in the future, we are not sure how fast they will become because this is um, pretty new. Um, as you can see, this is a SanDisk card, so it should be widely available very soon. Um, for those who uh, do not want to upgrade to the CFast 2.0 specification just yet, we also have 
the CF card slot over here which uh, you can use you know your existing cards speaking about the video capabilities of the 1DX Mark II um, of course we have 4K okay we have full uh, 60 frame 4K video recording smooth as butter very high resolution we also have up to 120 um, FPS in full HD so when we enable this uh, we are essentially capable of making slow motion movies um, still in glorious full HD I wouldn't say it's weatherproof it's actually weather more like weather resistant to a certain degree um, we do not release a IP ratings or whatever but um, rest assured uh, in terms of ceilings um, the body is adequately sealed there are seals around the battery there are seals around you know all the ports as you can see is there's a double gasket here that um, helps to seal the inputs and outputs of the camera um, it has a magnesium alloy body that is um, tougher and still maintains lightness Okay, um, you have uh, weather sealing in between LCD monitors and even our L lens, L series range of lenses have weather sealing on them. As you can see, this is a small uh, rubber gasket in between the body and the flange. Professionals I know that have or uh, had experiences out with the 1D series out in the field, especially in uh, heavy downpour. Um, you should not have any issues with them. We still, however, do recommend the use of a rain cover um, to protect your camera even more.